Tammy with Real Southern Woman. It's been quite a while since I've seen y'all. Uh, today is Je uh, February the 11th, and uh, we did get good news from the doctor today, and my boxy was benign, so a heads up, wonderful news on that one. Uh, today, our study is out of Proverbs, and it is called Profound Healing. And, um, actually, I'm wrong. It's not, it's called Trusting His Vision out of Proverbs. And it's Proverbs chapter 25, verse 2. Um, and right now, they've got it as, it is the glory of God to conceal a matter. And so, I thought we might jump into Proverbs right quick. So, if y'all want to grab your Bibles and turn to, turn to Proverbs 25, you can. Uh, <laughs> Sorry about that. Of course, the minute I get on my phone to video, somebody calls me. Uh, so I'm going to grab my Bible and turn to Proverbs. And uh, me and Chris have been out and about all day. We actually got a new camera today to video with. Uh, I'm not doing this with it because we got to learn how to use it first. And um, so those of y'all who are just now coming in, we did get negative results on the biopsy, so that's wonderful news. Um, and we are in Proverbs chapter 25 tonight. Finally, we get to do a Bible study. It seems like it's been forever since I've been on here with y'all. Um, the honor of kings, uh, Proverbs 25, it says, this is not a, um, let's see, the honor of kings, and then it's got a section called a word fitly spoken, a false witness. And let's see which verse he uses. I think it was verse 2. Yeah, verse 2 that he uses in our lesson today. Um, and so verse 2, I'll just read the first section of the proverb, and that way we'll kind of get an idea of what's going on here. It says, these are also proverbs of Solomon, which the men of Hezekiah, king of Judah, copied out. It says, it is the glory of God to conceal a thing, but the honor of kings is to search out a matter. The heaven for height and the earth for depth and the heart of kings is unsearchable. Take away the dross from the silver and there shall come forth a vessel for the finer. Take away the wicked from before the king and his throne shall be established in righteousness. Put not forth thyself in the presence of the king, and stand not in a place of great men. For better it is that it be said unto thee, Come up hither, than that thou shouldest be put lower in the presence, or of the prince whom thine eyes have seen. Go forth not, go not forth hastily to strive, lest thou know not what to do at the end thereof. When thy neighbor hath put thee to shame, debate thy cause with thy neighbor himself, and discover not a secret to another. Least he that heareth it put thee to shame, and thine infamy turn not away. Um, I'm going to read this down at the bottom of the uh, passage about this verse 2, which is what our study is about today. It says, Both God and kings are unfathomable. Their respective subjects cannot entirely comprehend their knowledge and motives. A thing may include science and creation and personal motives and legal testimony. God is glorious because his creation is so intricate. Kings gain honor by divine Delve, kings gain or, honor by deviling into matters that improve their ability to rule. Um, and this is supposed to teach us that prideful self-promotion is not wise. Now, let's see what Charles Stanley has to say about our lesson today. And this is trusting his vision. It says, at times, one of the hardest things about God is that we do not see nor do we comprehend what he's doing. Especially when there's trouble 
uh, that strikes in our life, in our family, or whatever. It says, of course, it is human to want to reason everything out and understand what's happening to us, and even more so to try to plan our way out of the trouble. But realize that at times God hides details from you on purpose. Why would he do that? It says in order for your faith to grow, in order for you to learn to rely fully on Christ. He calls you to trust him, to realize that he sees the circumstances of your life from beginning to end and from all know, from his all-knowing and eternally wise perspective. And he wants that to be enough for you. This is why at times you will be forced to submit the confusing dilemma before your eyes to God and simply rest in his guidance and leadership. So when trouble strikes, do not be disheartened if you're limited. Earthly understandings fail you. Rather be encouraged by focusing on the fact that the Father has your life in his wise, all-powerful hand and is working all things out for your good. He says, Jesus, I thank you for seeing my situation clearly, especially when I cannot. Grow my faith and help me trust you. Amen. So this is about trusting God and how God sees a, a lot larger picture of our life than we do. And he is the master. He is our father. He is all knowing. And we should be able to trust him through the good and the bad times in our life without trying to work the things out on our own, knowing that he can help. Um, so y'all just keep that in mind today. Uh, it's a blessing to be able to sit here and say that the boxy came back good. I really wasn't worried about it. Uh, I mean, not really. I didn't really have a real bad feeling or anything about it. So um, I'm, I'm really thankful that it is okay, though. And, uh, of course, I just wanted y'all to know, um, I hope y'all have had a blessed uh, few days. And I'm sorry that I was gone most of the week last week recuperating. But hopefully I'm on the mend and um, we'll be able to come see you guys uh, in the evenings this week. And uh, we'll get something out of the Word of God together. Um, Chris and I bought a new camera today and a new microphone. So we're excited to be able to dabble into that tonight and see what we can come up with for you guys tomorrow. If we get it working good, then our Bible study tomorrow will be with new camera. And I hope it works out. Um, we are just using uh, the money, of course, we've made off of YouTube to buy that. So that's good, isn't it? Um, Let's see, I got a present in the mail today, but I want to open it live on Color Valley Cooks because um, it is from some somebody from Jersey. I believe her name was um, Patty. What was their last name, Chris? Do you remember? You don't remember. Anyway, um, Giles, I want to say, or something um, like that. It's, it's on the package. Man. It's on the package. Anyway, it's full of presents in the ramp, y'all. I'm excited. But I hate to open it um, on Real Southern Woman. I think I'll do it on Color Valley Cooks. I don't really know if she watches Real Southern Woman or not. So she can let, let us know that, though. Um, let's take a look in our other book and just let me glance at the study in it today. Um, and today, I, like I said, it's February the 11th. May has a play tomorrow night. So we will be at the play tomorrow night. She has um, one of the main parts in the play where she gets to sing. And so um, I don't think that I will be here at my normal time tomorrow. I may come on early for y'all or late. Um, today's lesson in my other book, which is Experiencing God Day by Day by the Black Abyss, is called Love Brings Obedience.